Family Pathways in Forest Lake, Minnesota. And this is a cute thermal serve, was it? Thermal serve, West by West Bend. Little Holly Hobby set. The bowl said $10. And the mug says 12 Wow. That is a lot. Kind of looking for some Valentine stuff to see if... Not that I need more Valentine stuff. Sorry, this guy that works here is chatting with Norm. $18 for this tiny little thing. I just showed it in my video. Something a little deeper, actually. My last video for winter. I'm sorry they're chatting so loud over there. I hope it's not picking that up. So the music is loud too, but this is very exciting. I hope they're not going to ask a fortune for this. I would be very interested in it. It is a California original, just looking at it. And it's much shorter than anything. Well, that's not bad. That's pretty good. You wouldn't get it for that in a vintage mall, I don't think. I like that. See the gold painted bottom? That's very typical of California originals, that, all of them that I have. So that's pretty exciting. I definitely am going to take that. I can't resist orange, and that will fit nicer on, you know, the lower shelves that I have that are not so not so wide open to put tall things on. I need smaller things too, so that's great for spring. This is the pretty lace tablecloth um, for $5. I'm planning on using it in the front entrance on the buffet. It's in excellent condition. Thanks, Norm. Yeah, so they had to take everything off the table that it was on. He's going to put another one back on. Yeah, so. thank you. Yeah. That'll be fun. I've used a white lace plastic one for years, but this will you be a fun, a good eye when you walk and and see that. fun difference. Yeah, I'm always looking at tablecloths under things. Okay. Things piled up on them, but I found a tag. That's great. Yeah, five bucks. Yeah, I think that's Those very reasonable. What's that? Cost you? <laughs> that's a nice jar you got there. Yeah, I really the like base. the California piece. This is, um, oh, I can't think of the maker of that. It could be an Indiana glass or who knows, but that's a lot, $20. Prices seem to be higher here right now. $10 for this is an antique, they're saying. Sure needs cleaning. It's probably very pretty, but boy, has that been used, huh? Wow. Wow, this is like being in an antique store. This is cute. Let by Lefton, but it's $18. Yikes. I assume the same for that one. That's April. Wow, crazy. There's lots of... Um, figurines here that are very cute. They all look like angels. August. By Russ. Hmm. I don't have a price on her. Just wondering what the prices were. May. That's sweet. Yeah, that's kind of weird. They must have it on the box. 450 Well, I guess that's pretty cheap. They're made beautifully. November, May, hmm. January, and June. There's more figurines up here. Lots of them. Wow. This is definitely the figurine aisle. <laughs>
There's two of these fairy lamps, look like it to me. Has a separate lampshade. It's all taped up real well. Two of them here for $15. They're very big, so I would not want to store them. There's the other one down there, upside down. Looks like a little egg. Sweet little egg cup thing. Hard to see the patterns sometimes, you know, when they put the tape over it, but that's a lot. This is in the vintage aisle. Ten dollars. I have no idea. It's painted on the back, as you can see. That's where the paint is. Neat cake plate, but very fall color. Yeah, I don't know who made that. But it is in the vintage glass aisle, so might be. Wow. Just look at how this these two pieces sparkle. Unbelievable lead crystal. Feels rough, uh, feels cut on the edges. Sawtooth edge there is just beautiful. That's really cheap for crystal. Look at the pattern. Oh. That is really a gorgeous piece. I'm surprised. Look at look at the sparkle. Well, really shines, oh it? yeah, I mean you can tell. Look at the difference. Yeah, well, of course it's between old press glass and this. This is so sharp on the bottom. That looks to me like a very very cut. And look at this one. This is just oh pretty. This is just incredible. Do they go together? Oh well. No, They're similar. Yeah. That is so cheap for that. That is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I don't yeah. need it. No, I, I just... Yeah, I made it. Oh, yeah, I made look it. at... I've got so many of these. Anyway. $3 is very reasonable. Yeah, this is the kind of thing I was putting, you know, up on our wall. That's really neat neat price and this I've looked at here for an entire year I don't know why no one buys it it is so cute pressed glass uh, maybe it's an individual salt I should put the light on that might help isn't that sweet though yeah maybe I should have the light on for these Ugh. You can see the colors, the prism, slightly. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, those are gorgeous pieces. Wow. This made me laugh. Let me take the light off first before I shine it in your eyes. I do yoga to relieve stress. Just kidding. I drink wine in yoga pants. <laughs> That's really cute. Isn't that funny? That is. Very funny. <laughs> Norm was showing me, me this. Was it this one you were showing me? Press glass bottle. Yeah. Was it that one? No, I took it and put it on the other side over there. I oh. Didn't get to it. Oh, okay. It's very heavy. Oh, it's, it's a different bottle. Look at that painting. It goes that way. <laughs> that way, a vase. Full of flowers. That's very looks like feather flowers. <laughs> very definitely looks like feather flowers. Cute. I see this lazy Susan now and then in thrift stores. It's really cool. Very mod. Being on chrome, chrome and glass. You can't get any more mod than that. I don't see a price on it. I'd have to pick it up. It's on the bottom shelf. Music is a little loud in here, but I think we'll get by. It's pretty good. So and these are sweet. Um, just an ice cream glass. 
Not sure, but there's four of them. Three dollars each is pretty good. These are nice pieces. I love the. There are some pretty things down here. I have beaded. so many at home, though. I should probably donate a few back. Yeah. <laughs> but there are some. Gorgeous I agree. Ones. Oh yeah. Oh, I will. Yeah. Aren't these pretty? Wow, that looks uh, like um, marigold carnival glass look and a gold band on it. I think these are vintage. They're really gorgeous. Uh, $7 each. Really, really showy. Did you do the oh, this is the fancy bottle Norm was showing me. That is neat. Pretty heavy. Wow. Wow. That could be more of a a crystal uh, mm -hmm. more of a you know, much more quality. Being so heavy like that. Wow. That's really pretty, isn't it? Yeah. I like it. Do oh, you? Yeah. 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 I'm I just feel so guilty when things are so heavy for storage, but it is a beauty. Well, it looks like it's in good shape. Yeah. I hope the stopper isn't broke. I don't see it, anything wrong with it. No, I'm looking in there too and I don't see anything. Looks round. Looks like it needs a good cleaning. Yeah. That is very cool. What do you think? That's fine. It's very uh, geometric. No flowers. I like that. Geometric, Thank you. huh? Yeah, I like geometric. Oh. Thank you. Wow, uh, seven dollars each, man. And the salt always corrodes the chrome top. Uh, yeah, I have a matching sugar dispenser, but not those. Oh, look at that! Look at that. Norm wanted to go. So I wasn't going to bother looking around here in the jewelry. Look at that bangle bracelet. That's very cool for three fifty. dollars oh, Look at that one. Not my color, really, but that that is uh, vintage looking. Very thick. But that's not typically a color I would look for, but that is so Halloween. <gasps> look at that big orange dot on the top. Oh. That's really cheap. It's got that one on the other side. That is so cool. I like that. This is very pretty. Vintage. But I have so many. Yes, you do. I have way too many. But I love... Now, see, this is looks vintage to me, too. That's very nice. Um tortoise chain. It's not a belt. Too small for a belt. It's just a necklace. 350 I don't know. So that's a wood look and tortoise. Every other one. Yeah, that's... Is that a necklace? Then? Yeah, it's so very sharp. cool. That's a very cool necklace. Yeah, I don't need it, but I like it. Right. Might be um, the tag discount for today but I don't know okay better get going this is really a very heavy pot it's really beautiful drip glaze that is really nice yeah it is it's very heavy looks like a bean pot <laughs> but isn't that amazing $15 yeah. I don't need it I got a lot of brown a lot of green, a lot of brown pottery, but that's very cool. It was out here in their front entrance. Yeah, that's cool.
I'm now in uh, Family Pathways in, um, uh, I'm trying to think, <laughs> Lindstrom, Minnesota. And I saw this, went right up to the jewelry because it's right when you walk in the door. Some parts are translucent, clear. Thing says is made in India. Really tiny right there. Yeah, I'm surprised there's a label inside of that original label. I have no idea. Here's Martha Rose. <laughs> Glasses. Oh, it's funny. I have no idea how old something like that would be. I know a lot of you enjoy dolls. I don't normally film them, but... Boy, they really have dolls here. And they're... Wow, can you hear that? The leg? It's... Porcelain. Whoa, they're heavy. Look at them. Oh. She is very heavy and also porcelain. All of them. Look at that dress. Oh, she's really sweet. $12 only. Oh my goodness. Look at this bride. Wow, look at that dress. She is $10? Oh my goodness. That's very sweet, isn't it? Very cute. Seven fifty. Yeah, those dolls are gorgeous. I think I like this one in all lace. Kind of a pouty look, but that is so cheap. Just beautiful condition. Wow. <gasps> Look at this. Wow, this is um, like weeping gold. $20. Yeah, it's um, California. I don't know what that first word is, though. Oh, that radio is terrible. Oh, I see. Westwood wear 24 karat gold on bisque. Oh my goodness. No, I would not spend $20 on a pot. I sure don't need it. It's very unusual. It's kind of a pinky orange, not really a, a, a pottery color more so, but very unusual art, huh? More dolls. Oh my, they're just all over the place. I hope you don't mind me showing them for a change. All the lovely ladies out there watching, which are the majority of my viewers, I'm sure will enjoy this segment here. So I hope you guys don't mind catering to the doll lovers for a bit here. Thank you. This is an old plaque. It's um, very sweet, and I think I've seen it before. Could be Home Co. or Burwood, but somebody stapled on <laughs> a red back piece on it. Yeah, I think I would take that off. Yeah, that's funny, but there's only one of them. This is... Um, 450 and I have no idea the age of it and what that other tag underneath would say but it is white I like the cupid um, 
but I think I'll pass. It, it's really going to be a lot of work to get that clean. I don't think I'm up for the challenge, but it is. it was neat to see. I've never seen that before. Oh, isn't that cute? Three dollars. I don't know if that's a perfume bottle. Could be. It's like a miniature to the big bottle we were looking at at the thrift store. Wow, that's glass. Hey, hey, that's cute. Those little, are they 80s? I've had that. I don't know if that's Burwood or Home Co. It's probably Home Co. I think I have it still, yeah. I do. Pretty. Wow, looks musical. These three angels have been here all last year. They're really muted tones. Um, it's very good quality home coat angels. What were they? Five. I was thinking they were going to be like six each. It's a beautiful set. But I don't need any that size. Well, there's another one of those fairy lamps. Was it Home Co. that made those? Four dollars. That's a good price, but I already have two of them. That's enough. Wow, look at these vases. Two of them. Wow, they are pretty. Not my style, but gorgeous. Very pretty. I think I'll get this lace placemat. Uh, it's only a dollar, so I think that would be nice for the middle of the uh, kitchen counter. Look at this stacking snack set, I would assume. That's really cheap. That must be heavy. Wow, a dollar fifty for vintage Blue Heaven China. One plate on the internet, they're asking thirty dollars for it. Look at all that. Oh my goodness. Eight dinner plates for for a dollar fifty each. Oh, good grief. Eight. And four. Twelve dollars only? Wow. That'd be a good investment, you would think. Ugh, I don't know what to do. I'd have to ask Norm. I changed my mind, so I don't, I still just don't want to be shipping stuff. I don't have anywhere to store it. And I, I hate to break up a set, anyways. Well, first we stopped at Forest Lake, Minnesota, then Lindstrom, Minnesota. So we've been at two of them. Norm didn't come into the Lindstrom one, but he came in Forest Lake with me and here. And the Valentine stuff was all gone. So you got to shop early in January if you want Valentine stuff. This is St. Croix Falls, Wisconsin. One of our favorite stores because it's a good size. They always have lots of neat vintage stuff, very cheap here. I can't believe this big Maurice of California um, Lazy Susan set is still here. We showed it when we were Christmas shopping. Yeah, it's still here, Norm. Wow. And look at these vintage carnival glass sherbets. Three dollars each. Three bucks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very nice set. Look at that old, um, what do you call that again? Korean? <laughs> yeah, so very Korean? good, very good. Yes, I well, couldn't think of it. What a guess. 
They moved uh, everything vintage down here. It was. Yeah, it's all it, over the side. The Valentine stuff looks very picked over. These are really cute. It's so modern. $18 each. Wow, they must be very, pretty heavy. Well, sort. Oh, it's musical. What in the world? Swiss musical movement. Brahms Lullaby. Huh. Wow. They are really cute. Look at the little teeny blue eyes. Hmm. I'd like to hear what that sounds like. Bunch of old rose trays down there. An old fruit topiary. I think that's what you'd call it. Look at this fancy thing. It still has a label on top. Hand decorated. 22 karat gold. Oh, that's fun. That's neat, made in Japan. What was it? Three dollars? Three fifty. That's really cute for a candle. Hmm. Yep. I like it. Crazy music. Crazy loud. Crazy wild. That's probably a George Briard, but it's missing its dip section. More marigold. Newer, probably newer. Wow, this is a very pretty piece, isn't it? It's a daisy and button. Look at this beautiful silver tarnished there, but I bet that cleans up. Four fifty. Very sweet. Aren't these pretty? Wow. Very pretty. Don't like having all the other pieces, but that is really gorgeous plates. That's wow. Pretty elaborate pattern, isn't it? Yeah. Beautiful. Wow. Charm Crest, Fine China, Japan. Oh, look at this fancy creamer. It's really creamer. Real gold, I bet. Oh. So this is all the... This is all moved. It's really spread out their vintage stuff. There's another bottle down there. Lots and lots of plates. They really spread out. Yeah. Hmm. I like this piece. That could be a candy jar. <clears throat> it um it's pretty sharp feeling. It feels like cut glass to me. It's four fifty only. Uh, it very much needs cleaning. I think that's real dingy on top compared to the bottom. That's very tempting. Four fifty is pretty cheap. Very pretty piece. I like it. I think I will. You know why? Because it's nicer than some of them that I have. I don't see any chips. Some of them I have are, the color is just a little too off, so I'm not liking them quite as much. But that's really, really cheap. Beautiful cut glass piece, I believe. This is a 1988 set. H in HD, I sure don't know what that is. Made in Mexico. But they're kinda 80s. Cute. Hmm. 
cute. Several old. That's a um, passion flower. Is that what you call that? Very Hawaiian. Old. No markings. Nice. And a fruity one. This is a very pretty Inarco. Um, yeah, you could use it for a planter, but I don't know. I'll put it up here so you can see. It's not real deep for a planter, but it's a very sweet, fruity thing. This is an example of the newer resin pieces that I was talking about that have just too much detail. And they're so cutesy, even cutesier than the snowman I was showing you from the 80s. Yeah, just too cutesy of characters. Boy, this brings back memories. Norm used to make chunk candles. I love them. I thought they were so great, especially when he did ones with all different colored chunks in it and white uh, base wax, $2 only, and it says it's made in Taiwan. So this is definitely older. Chunk candle, green, small, two bucks. Well, that's worth it. Very fun, very tempting for uh, um, March. <laughs> so cute. Yeah, just because it brings back memories. That uh, would be fun to light it. See what it looked like. I just might do that, just for old time's sake. Look at the chunk candle made in Taiwan. Yeah. I was saying that I loved it when you would put multicolored chunks in and then clear or white. Was it white or more translucent? Yeah, different uh, lighter shade. Un, you know, for the base, over. poured over all those colorful chunks. Wow, look at these little elephants. This is a very good one. I this poured is... a bunch of black wax all this... over the stove in the apartment we have. Oh, did you do that? Oh, no. This looks like an older elephant. It took me forever to clean that mess up. A very old sticker that you can't even read. Yeah, this is an older, older elephant. It's very cute. Oh, his ears stick out really wide. I was just thinking about a shadow box um, figurine, but his ears stick out too far. Try them on the shadow box over there, see if it fits. Yeah, not that one. That one's as skinny as could be. Know. Oh, yeah. Here's a glass frog. They still make them? Five dollars. Wow. Heavy. I don't use them, though. No. Well, this sweet little wicker set is still here. It may not be a set because that end one on the left is, is different. But isn't that a cute set for dolls? It'd have to be an awfully tiny kid to f fit in them. They're really, really little. I'd say doll set. Well, guys, here's some more dolls. Her nose has got a smudge on it, but these are, she's missing her hat, I think. But this one's in pretty good shape. That is um, made in Korea, art mark. Yeah, it's kind of nice they left that little tag on her. She's in pretty good shape. <laughs> you don't see those too often in a thrift store. This is a very sweet creamer and sugar. It says $2.50 each, but this one doesn't have a sticker on it. Hmm. Very nice. Tempting. This is only a dollar. It's very pretty. 
hand painted plate. It's even got the string on the back. I don't think I've seen a cubist votive before two dollars. Yeah, I've not seen that one, but I think I like the diamond ones better. Tinier pattern. Wow, if you like turquoise, this is a gorgeous platter. Not something I would use, but it sure goes with the retro turquoise dishes that I was just showing you. It's really a big platter. And I'll have to see if I can get it turned over here with one hand. Here comes Norm. Hold that. It's only four dollars. Um, Style House Ironstone Nordic, made in Japan. Isn't that mod? It goes with the dishes that I was just showing them. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. Very showy. Showy. Very mid-century looking to me. Yeah, that's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, but I'm not getting it. Oh, magic words. Yes, I don't need it. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Somebody framed a little winter cross stitch. Is that cross stitch? I guess. Little kit, I suppose. And there's some more example of what I mean by overly cutesy, overly detailed resin type stuff. Ooh. Ugh. And there's another lovely melt glass plate, lacy type that I hang up, and I have plenty of those. And there's another one, not so fancy. This is fun. Very nice um, cocktail glass. I don't even know. Do you do you drink a uh, margarita out of there, or do you drink? Uh, Martini. Is that a martini glass, Norm? I don't. It's a senorita. Oh, very funny. Yeah, I don't know. But it's really cute. It's the only one. The only one. Aren't these neat? These were here the last time I was here. Four casseroles. Very retro casserole holders. Yeah, I have nowhere to store stuff like that. and I don't have casseroles shaped like that either, so... More for corning type, you know, like that. Look at this enamel piece. Boy, anybody that has a booth in an antique mall would snatch this up. Eight dollars. Ugh, I hate to tell you what we paid for ours. It's the same thing that we got at Wild Vintage Collective, uh, but we had probably mentioned that we thought somebody took the top off of it. Well, that explains it. With those hearts, it's too country. Yeah, this one's got a couple of metal hangers on the back on each yeah. side, on each end down there to hold it up. Ours, you can see there's a line of, of lesser color stain uh, with the thickness of that top piece, so we know somebody took the top off of ours. Yep, it's exactly the same clock and everything. <laughs> that's funny. Really good price, eh? Yeah, yeah, I know. That's that's, that's a steal if you had an antique booth. I'm vintage, I should say. <laughs> very retro. This is a very nice place. They have a huge wall for their artwork and very nice furniture often that we see here. <coughs> Bless you. <laughs> yep, you could easily find furniture here. Lots of books over in that whole section. And these are all picture frames, so I think that's it. I didn't go down this plastic aisle, did I? Nope. It's all plastics. Seventy-five cents a cup. Very wheat pattern. I'm sorry about the music. Beautiful. 
So colorful. This whole table in their entryway is full of um, old sewing machines. There's a Sears Kenmore with a big top. A Singer really looks old, the Singer, but look at this one. Isn't that neat? Oh, that'd be so fun in a sewing room. See those Just for there. looks. Wow. Yeah, okay. Huh? See all the ones in the aisle? Yeah, and I, I didn't I didn't show all the ones that are in tables down there. Uh, oh, four nice four more. Those are more antique looking. 50, yeah, 50 isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, I don't have a room for that. Can you believe this is in the front entrance of the North Branch Family Pathways? Only $95. It says vintage. Look at that. It's even glitter inside. Wow. That was a lot of work. I'd take it if I knew there was somewhere where we could fit it, but... Chrome legs. I'm not really into chrome legs anymore, but isn't that something? Boy, that is really a sight. Here's a mid-century modern dinette table. I don't like the chairs there. They're old. Don't go with this table because they're wood. This is all laminate. Only $50 with two leaves. It's very nice. I love the angled legs on it. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Needs good polishing. Bet there is lots of conversation at this table. Isn't this pretty? $48.50. Boy, that's been painted nice. There's just no wear on it anywhere. That's gorgeous. Really pretty. Beautiful green. Kind of like a jadeite green. Nice mug. Made in Ireland. Republic of Ireland, Emerald Isle by Very nice mug. So they've got obviously St. Patty's Day stuff out. And they're cute figurines. <laughs> this looks vintage to me. Tell me if I'm wrong. Um it's crazy that it's in the Valentine area. That doesn't make any sense. Somebody must have changed their mind. See the bottom? That does not look like something that's new. I love the simplicity of it. I don't need it, but it's pretty neat. Yeah, I think it's vintage. And that's a pretty basket for $8.50, but I don't need it. I have a lot of glass and milk glass baskets. That might be um, restaurant wear. Oh, there's even more. Yeah, probably there's even more over there. It is so heavy, I cannot believe it. It says Cosmopolitan or something like that. It weighs a ton for one plate. Pick up that plate, Norm. This one here? Yeah. Can you believe handling that every day? I know a lot of people just love this. I think it's restaurant wear. See, it says Cosmopolitan Wellsville, China created it. Wellsville, Ohio. Yeah, I think that's Ohio. Kind of heavy. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Ohio. Yeah, really, really heavy. Neat. 
Yeah, they're beautiful down there. patterns. Yep, even more over there. Yeah, gorgeous. This is pretty fancy, isn't it? Crackle glass. It could be vintage, I suppose. I was looking for the price. I wouldn't be getting it. Seven fifty. That looks musical. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if this is vintage stuff or not. Wow. And those beautiful barware glasses. Three of them. Hmm. 75 cents. Be nice at a lake home, wouldn't it? Ocean. Ocean home. These look like pretty nice tapers. Aren't they? Taper holders. Taper candle holders. Yeah, they're heavy. Very, very heavy. So, I think they're crystal. Well, yeah, look at the... Do you see the rainbow? I think we're seeing rainbow. Yep. Um, I don't see a label anywhere, but those are very nice, but oh, big to store. Good price. Oh, look at this heavy, heavy, thick, thick glass. Tidbit tray, I assume. Isn't this pretty? If you like blue, beautiful. That's going to be too hard to read. Very pretty. Yeah, gorgeous. Look at all the dishes in this section. Both sides. It is just loaded. I don't know why this um, thrift store is just... Things are just piled, piled up in the vintage section. For sure. Oh, isn't that pretty too? That looks like it matches the coffee pot. That's really pretty. Hmm? So I've many times seen Corel down here at the bottom along here. Always looking for thin plates with striped edges. <laughs> Look at all of those. Just a ton of them. Oh man. Such a shame, isn't it, about all the beautiful china that nobody wants anymore? Those are really cute. Only three of them. I never find any mugs here. Nope, not the kind I look for. Porcelain. Pretty set. Covered candy dish. A silver top on it. Oh, that's heavy. And it's just like one, 350. It's just like one that's over in a, a flower section. <laughs> Too bad they haven't separated. Yeah, I don't see any. I don't see anything, so I better get going. Like an old.
very old pressed glass dish. Pretty stuff. Wow, there's a Valentine casserole for you. It's absolutely huge. I don't like those brown tops. It's $14.50. I don't remember seeing that pattern very much. This guy's fun. Big windsock. I love windsocks. I think they're so fun. That's where I bought most of mine. It's at the thrift stores. See you later, buddy. Happy March. Coming up. Not for a while yet, though.